Hello, everyone. Looks like we are live. Okay, good. It's always a trick to see if it's actually going to go or if I'm going to get an error message. So let me just um, find where I am. Oh, notifications. Okay. So that's one thing. Um, my notifications have not been working all that great lately. And I don't know if it's just me. I don't think it is. All right. looks like everything's straight. Okay. Um, yeah, people, the videos that I usually watch, I'm not getting notified. And sometimes I don't get notified of my very own videos. Oh, look at that. I just had a die stuck to my iPad. Okay. That's not good. All right. So today, Thursday, what is today? September 16th. Seems like I, I feel like I've lost a week, which I have. Um, but so when everybody gets here, say hi. Let me just refresh this. So I am Tony Tesler, Tony Stamps. That is me. Um, like I said, when you get here, say hi. If you're watching on YouTube later, um, give me a thumbs up. If you like this, um, say hi, leave me a comment. If you have any questions, ask me there. That's, um, that's always a good place. So, hey, Marilyn. Um, so today I'm going to do, I'm calling this Z fold slimline cards take two because, Hey Rose, um, take two because I first made these Z fold slimlines last July and I went back, I found that video maybe two weeks ago or so. And, um, I was redoing some stuff with my YouTube channel and it popped up and I saw, Oh, I'll check it out. Well, that video quality was horrible. And Hey Vicki. Um, all I can say is, uh, I've learned a lot in the last year and I don't think it's all me. I think it all depends on YouTube. I mean, Facebook too, because that's where I was doing all my lives. Um, but I had the camera too close and I hadn't figured everything out. So, um, I don't like that one, but it gets a lot of views. So I thought I'll do that same style again. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, but I'm going to start with a few quick um, go throughs and reminders of things. First of all, I want to say, uh, thanks you guys. Hey Penny. Um, last week was a horrible week. The short version of all that was, um, my husband hurt his back, got some medicine. That medicine like made his life miserable. He was completely blocked up for a week and I'm sure he doesn't want me telling you all his business, but that's all it ended up being. But, you know, you'd have thought that somebody was killing him from the inside. So that was a whole bunch of drama. Um, but so miserable. He made me miserable and he's going to live. So that's all good. But my birthday was this weekend, too. And it was not a great day. But you guys made it a wonderful weekend because I got so many birthday cards. Uh, probably a stack this thick and I haven't even had a chance to get through them all. So I've got to open them up and then I think I'm going to make like a little, um, take pictures of everything and put it through. Like it's a video. I can do that. And I need to practice with editing videos anyway. Um, but I want to share them with you guys, but there's just so many. So, um, look for that in the next week. So you guys are my saving grace with your cards. It really made me feel better. So I appreciate it. All right. So two weeks ago, yeah, not this past weekend, the weekend before I was working on some things and I just thought I would show them, um, a couple of them cause I've already mailed a bunch out. Um, uh, but this, I had this, uh, cut out. This is from the artistic expressions dies or express artistic, whatever that thing. Um, and I paired it with just a strip of this dazzling paper. I think that sets it off nicely and the Parisian flourish folder. And I love the black on black. I'm a big fan. And Rose, you did not miss it. You sent me something. I just haven't opened it yet. Um, but then these are the petal pink. These are elegant faceted gems. And these are the petal pink ones. And I really thought it looked nice with the bedazzling paper. So, cause this is kind of champagne-y looking. Um, but I really like that. So I worked on that. Um, then I had a couple of bits and pieces left of this paper. I had like a stripe of paper and then I had some of these cutouts. So I put together some different cards. This is blushing bride and the paper is, um, Oh Lord. I can't remember it name something textures. I'm, I'm blanking, but either way, um, flowers, this was the flowers of friendship set. 
and I'm loving the dies. That's a separate set. Um, I had a little scrap of this ribbon left. Any ribbon you will, you have will do. This one, I have to laugh, and I was saving this to show you guys because I do like the card. Um, I had, you know, just a little strip left, and this is directly on the um, card front. But, uh, wah, wah, you ready for it? <laughs> so I messed it up, and I made it upside down. <laughs> and I had already glued this piece on, and this ribbon is, like, wrapped around the whole thing, like, it was too far gone to save it. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to keep it. So don't ever think that you're the only one that makes, you know, that messes up your cards. But I thought, you know, I could cut this and mount it the correct way on a card. But I think it's going to give me more laughs to just use it anyway. <laughs> and then whoever I send it to can wonder, you know, did she do that on purpose or does she know that it's messed up? Like, of course I know it's messed up, but I just, it still makes me laugh. So yeah, so could flip the hello, could, but for some reason I don't like um, the designer paper on top like that. Like I really like it on the bottom and this is the whole thing I was going for. This might be your birthday card, Sue. <laughs> I could just cover it up, but no, I really, for some reason, I just don't like it like that. It bothers me. But I really do like um, this. This is the rose gold paper. I think that looks nice with the Blushing Bride. Um, you know, I may just save this as my inspiration piece for a while and just make me, it'll just make me laugh. But, so that's that. Um, now, a couple more things that we want to talk about. Um, boop, boop, boop. So, Halloween class. I just had my Halloween class. We aired that Monday night. <clears throat> this is one of them. So we made, um, these are mini albums, Halloween mini albums using the tombstone treat boxes. So this is, notice here we colored, I colored the white glittered ribbon with the dark, I want to say Highland Heather marker. I really like that. Um, but we made two of these and the information is all on my blog. Hey Cindy. Um, there's a page at the top of my blog page. It's called Learn at Home, and that's where I've got all my. I update it every month with, uh, you know, whenever I do my new class. So this is a little accordion album, and it's just, you know, a couple of pages are dolled up because you want to have pictures, but then you flip it over, and then there's more on the back side. So this was fun. So the kit is going to make two of these, two albums, two boxes. Um, and all that info, like I said, is on my blog. But it, uh, the kit's $36, and that does include the shipping, um, but I need RSVPs by next week, so next Wednesday. That is the 22nd. I'm just trying to get this tied back. But I really like these, and it holds wallet size pictures. So two by three, and if you don't have wallet size, um, you can cut down your four by six pictures and make them fit. But how stinking cute is that? So that was the one. And then I had made, this was my prototype. Um, but they both have these witches hats, just different spider webs. Cute, cute, cute. All right, so that is that info. Um, bingo, still plugging away for bingo. I do want, I need six more people. I've got four, I need six more by next Thursday. Um, cause I really need 10, cause it's a lot of work. So, hey Beth. Um, it's a lot of fun and we're going to be using the snow buddy better at the new snowman set out of the mini catalog. That's what we're going to use for the make and takes, but any snowman set you have should do. Okay. Um, and then September workshop that is on there too. This is, this code is going all month, 50 to a hundred dollar order. You get the cute stars, a hundred to 150, you know, 149.99 choose your hostess set from the mini catalog. All right, now let's get to it. So I need a piece of paper. So like I said, um, mini slim lines. And actually I need this. So I keep, this is just a journal that my mom got me um, a couple years ago. It's like mostly just blank pages. Um, I think you can, I don't know, I guess you can watercolor. It's just, you know, to draw stuff. I keep ideas in here. 
I know Pinterest and bookmarks and you can save everything digitally, um, but I like to just keep mine, I write the instructions down and it's not in any particular order. I just write them down um, and then I'll just go back and look. And if I want to make anything, you know, the same card again, I'll just go back here. So certain different techniques, box measurements, um, just all kind of stuff. Oh yeah, mini scrapbook using a half size wood stamp case. We don't have those anymore. I think I have a few, but just different stuff. Um, so this was just an idea for you to save your um, projects that you wanna make. All right, so here's the page for today. Z fold, slim lines. Um, so we're gonna do two cards today. I'm gonna do a regular slim line card and then I'm gonna do a mini. And it's Z fold because here's one of the prototypes. Um, so this is the Z. Let me look at it this way. Boop, boop, boop. And slimline. I love it. So we're going to jump into it. Um, the, when we go to cut it, first of all, I'm starting out with a piece that's eight and a half by 10 and seven eighths. So I only cut an eighth of an inch off. And that is because I am picky and I didn't like like with the scoring, there was like an extra eighth of an inch hanging off the edge here or on this side. Uh, some people that may not bother you. It bothers me terribly, so we just cut it off and then I don't have to have anxiety over it. So we're gonna score at three and five eighths and then flip it and score it at seven and a quarter. Um, and actually, I'm just gonna write this on my scratch paper for you guys so that you can take a screenshot later. So I'm gonna say slim line because we're gonna do a slim line, regular slim line, and then we'll do a mini slim line. So we want our card stock to be eight and a half by 10 and seven eighths. And then we're gonna score it at three and five eighths. And I say flip and then we'll score it at seven and a quarter. So let's do that. I should have my card stock already cut. Yep, 10 and seven eighths, okay. I like things that you can do with just a whole sheet of regular paper too. That's always good. Um, oh, I'm getting the wrong thing out. So we need to score. Now I say flip it because I like to score, so I would score here and then fold it this way. This way, I wanted it to score on this side and fold it. Like, I like to bury the bump. So, let's do three and five eighths. Flip our paper and seven and a quarter. All right. I just don't like to fold against the grain. So see here, I scored down, so I want this to fold this way. And then this one I scored this way, so I want it to fold this way, all right? So this is our the base of our card. So now we have to get this cut mark. I am all about standardization, and I want it to be the same every time. So let me bring in my paper again. So that's what this note means. Um, I want to put the point, which is the tip, this tip of this paper at the two inch mark on my cutter. And then this first score line will line up with the cut line. All right. And I'm going to show you what I mean. All right. So since this is the front of our card, we want this to be cut like that. So I'm going to flip it over. Here's our point. And you can go back and, you know, back this up and watch a bunch of times so it makes sense but so i flipped it over let's start over again i want it to cut this way boop so i flip i want this point let me scooch all this down this point at the two inch mark and i'm just holding it in place and then this score mark this score mark over here i want on the cut line here so two inches, and then I'm gonna scooch this down, and I've got, got that right at where it's gonna cut. So two inches, score mark at the cut line. Oops, and I'll let that go. And this might not be perfect every single time, but 
It mostly is. Oh, you know what? I cut something with glue on it the other day. I need to clean my blades. Oh my God. All right, that tore it all up. That's fine. I don't need this paper piece anyway. Um, but if you hadn't tore yours all up, I take this piece. So this is what we cut off. So for the front of the card, I take this piece, boop, flip it around. This angle should be the same as this angle. So I would just trim this down. So our panel is three and five eighths inch wide. So I'm going to go to three and a half. Actually, this is probably going to work out for my other card. So this should fit right on here with just a little bit of a border. And that's what I want. And then we're going to decorate this. So that's how you get a consistent. Um, if you didn't care about them being consistent, you could just whack, you know, your cardstock off willy nilly, however you want. All right, let me bring this in. So fold our score marks. All right, so here's the one that I started. Um, so I wanna have something on this side, either stamping or when I made the video last year, I took a marker and I just drew lines. So this time I'm gonna do some stamping. And for this first card, I'm using my Sailing Home set with Crumb Cake, Early Espresso, and Night of Navy. Yeah, Sean, she told me the other day that um, that she was trying to, she was watching, but she couldn't say anything. All right. Oh, we're, oh, you know what? I already had these out. Duh. And I've got all my pieces cut. Let me get all this out. All right, so I need my white piece. This is just cut down, mm, I think a quarter of an inch. Let me double check. Yep, three and a half, not a quarter, an eighth of an inch. Three and a half by, that looks like eight and three eighths. I don't know why they changed the measurements on this ruler at the six inch mark. Quarter, so eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter by three and a half. And that's gonna go on the inside. We'll come back to that. All right, I need my stamps. And that ribbon so I don't forget. All right, let me move this. So I'm just gonna do random, not really random. I'm gonna stamp these anchors. I'm gonna open this up and go off the edge for some. All right, and now off the edge here. And I'm putting these closer together. Um, mm -mm, I need to cover that up with something. All right, here's a scrap of paper. It doesn't matter if I was to go over the edge like this, because that's on the, you're not going to see it, but I'll know it's there. <clears throat> and I don't want it to show. And my Knight of Navy is very juicy, so I'm going to need to let that sit for a minute. All right. So that's that. Now for this piece. So this was a piece that I cut off and I trimmed it down a little bit. I generally like to uh, run this through an embossing folder. Um, but this, I'd have to like unplug my microphone. Um, I'd have to go out and emboss this. So I already pre-cut one and ran it through with the, um, oh Lord, I'm having another brain fart. The, it used to be old world paper and now it's something else. Um, but this embossing folder. All right. And then I picked this piece of designer series paper, um, because I thought this reminds me of like the fisherman's fisherman sweater. I know it's not the same weave, but it, it reminds me of that. And you could also use the other side. Um, but these, I'm gonna hold this in place because I really wanna add, um, no, actually, you know what? I'm gonna glue this down. I was gonna tie this uh, linen thread around the whole thing, um, but I just changed my mind. I'm just gonna tie a knot, a few knots. 
So I'm using my Barely Art Glue. And I'm just gonna glue this down. And we have a little bit of wiggle room. There we go. It's kind of hard to see tone on tone. Um, and I did get that a little crooked. There we go. Let me hold that. But I like the tone on tone, so that's fine. All right, and then I'm gonna glue this straight down. And this little strip is three and a half inches wide by, I believe, I thought it was an inch and a half. Nope, one and five eighths inch. This part, it's really however long you want it to make it, or tall. I just wanna cover up this gap at the bottom. So let's go here. And that looks straight enough. All right, so since we're going with a nautical theme, so I went ahead and stamped and die cut the boats already. All right, so I've got my ships and then I did a steering wheel in the gold. This is again is the rose gold, gold and rose gold. It's kind of like a brushed gold. And then I've got the, so the greeting, I wasn't sure if I wanted it in the Browns, Early Espresso, or the Knight of Navy. So this is my idea, was just to have some um, rope around here, actually. Let me get this. So I'm gonna use sticky strip. If you have the scorn tape, that would work for this as well. I'm just trying to attach my, have something for this ribbon to stick on. And then I'm gonna be putting more um, like dimensionals over the greeting piece and that'll help it stay down as well. Sometimes this red, the sticky strip just, just does not wanna peel up nice. All right, oop, I think I got it. Joke's on me, I didn't have it. All right, God. Okay. So my favorite, um, one of my favorite ribbon treatments is just to do a little um, swirly business, but this time I'm gonna make it into maybe a circle, kind of like a bird's nest thing. I just want some of this poking out. And for some reason, this was linen thread, and for some reason, it's really thick. It looks like rope. And I just, I don't know if I got a bad batch or what, um, because all the other ones I got did not look like this. So, I still use it. Why not, right? All right, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking the navy. There is gonna be some brown on the white piece. Actually, you know what? No, let's just use it. Knight and Navy, that's it. All right, so popping this up and all these extra dimensionals on here are gonna keep help keep this, um, this thread tacked down too. So I found out um, when I was doing the, gluing the ribbon to the tops of my tombstone treat boxes that the liquid glue was not holding um, the glittered organdy ribbon, or I used the black and white gingham. It wasn't holding that down very well because it wants to like soak it in. I think if I had fabric tack or something, fabric tack, that would have worked nice, but I'd have to go dig through my stuff. Um, but otherwise it just, it was soaking it in and then it wasn't staying like, eh, it was a whole big thing. All right. So I've got two sailboats. I want a big one and a smaller one. Boop, boop, boop. And I'm gonna pop this guy just here and then have glue right here. And actually this can, that can go through, okay. Oh, it would help if I peeled off the back of my dimensional, wouldn't it? 
All right, stick down. Okay, good. Uh, I feel like that was more difficult than it needed to be. Jeez. All right, more dimensionals. And then just put this here. So I think this embossing folder kind of reminds me of waves too. So that's why I liked it. And then I just want to put this guy like up here. And I need mini dimensionals for that. Um, and you know what? I might use the black ones. Mmm. This is still teeny tiny. All right, I'm gonna cut these in half because they're not small enough. And actually, I'm just gonna get a couple on here. One more. So it rained here a little bit today and um, I'm hoping it doesn't tomorrow because we wanted to go to the drive-in. We haven't been in a long time. But who wants to go to that when it's raining? And by the way, I don't like to sit in the car when we go to the drive-in. <laughs> I like to, we get our lawn chairs and we have a speaker, like a big boom box thing that we take. Actually, I think it'll let you do karaoke too. Um, but I like to sit outside. All right, so can you tell that you can see that black dimensional coming through there? Don't worry about it because against this blue background, you're not really going to notice. Okay. Mmm. I am liking that. All right. So now I want to take my white piece and we're just going to do some stamping and um, ink blending so that it's not so stark so that we have something interesting to look at. All right. So where did that go? Right here. So let's start with the, um, where'd my blue ink pad go? Here we go. Do the more the anchors. And I know this isn't seasonal. It's not folly. It's not Halloweeny. Um, but I wanted to do it anyway. And let me put this away because I'm done with the Knight of Navy. All right, then we've got our compass, and I'm going to do that in the early espresso. No mosquitoes, not really. I think it's too cold right yet for mosquitoes. But in the summer, I think that's more of a problem for sure. And plus, the um, where we go is close by the water. So, um, yeah, that could be a problem later. But we haven't noticed it so far. All right, and then some rope in the crumb cake. And I'm just like adding some so we get a little bit of interest. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe like a little bit right there. Okay. Now I need my ink blender. And again with the crumb cake. All right, brown. So I'm just gonna go around the edges. And sometimes I get more ink on this than I had planned, but that's okay. I just keep adding a little bit more. And then I think I went over the whole thing. So it wasn't like so stark and, and white across everything. All right, let's go over it a little bit. Yeah. So I do see some swipe marks, but that's going to be okay. Let's go this way some. Just for an all over. Hmm. I like that. Okay. Nice. All right. Now, let me make sure this is going to fit. Sometimes your, um, your layers don't go exactly right because of the fold. That looks good, but I like it. All right, around the edges. I love slim lines. 
I always have because there's so much real estate for you to decorate. Um, but I also love the whole Z fold idea. So how neat is that? I love it. I feel like I do want to add, um, I just found some more. I want to add some gems. Some of these, uh, where are my elegant faceted gems? Thought I had them out. Oh, here we go. So I only have a couple of these left. So I think I'm going to use the white ones because I only have three left and that'll do it. So they're a little bit sparkly and it might be a little bit busy, but um, I like it. And I want one over here and then the next one. Actually, I'm going to put this one over here. So I feel like this side had a lot going on and this side only had that one little boat. So there is our regular slimline Z fold. And again, here are your measurements. Um, oh, that's what I meant to say. And I'm going to say tip at two inches. And then um, you'll have to know what that means when you go back and watch this. But mm, I like it. You could also add a panel here um, if you wanted to add more writing or like more designer paper, you know, more stamping, whichever you want. I just left it blank. All right, so that is our regular slim line. Now let's do a a mini with the Halloween. So cute. These things are so cute. All right. So I've got, we are using, um, so this is the cute, too cute or cute Halloween papers. And I had pulled this guy out this piece. So I'm cutting out one of these. Um, I just found one. Oh, I need that. I'm going to cut that little guy out. Here's my other shimmer pen. I was trying to find it the other day, Monday. All right, and I'm using Highland Heather for this. Okay, let me put this out of the way. So notice this time I'm using designer series paper. I'm not doing stamping. So I'm gonna show you how to address that. Um, but just a little bit of stamping around here. So I need my black ink pad. I'm going to use Memento for this. And I've already got my stamps. I'm using Banner Year and Little Delights. So these are the two Halloween sets that I have. Let me grab these up. So Little Delights, this is new in this mini catalog. And Banner Year was from last year, but it's in the, um, the regular catalog. So I like them. I like these fonts too, like the, the cursive-y. All right, so I need Highland Heather. And we should start with the base of our card, right? All right, so let's just go over this and then I will write it again over here. So for the mini slimline Z fold, we want our paper to be six and a quarter by nine and three quarters. And let me just write this down. We'll say mini slim. We want our cardstock to be six and a quarter by nine and three quarters. And then we're going to score at three and a quarter, flip it and then six and a half. Oops, six and a half. This time our point is gonna be at one and a half. What did I call it over here? Tip, tip or point at one and a half. And we will go over that again as well. All right, so nine and three quarters. Mm-hmm, yep, by six and one quarter. So we're going to do our scoring. We'll do it at three and a quarter, three and a quarter, flip it over and six and a half. I 
I love this size because I got some, um, I found some envelopes on Amazon that hold these perfectly. This mini slim line. And mini slims can be um, three by six. This one is six and a quarter by three and a quarter. Whatever size your envelope is, really. All right, let me burnish these. All right, so now here's our card's going to fold like this. We want to cut from here, from this score mark, the top, down to here. So, like I said, this time our point mark is at one and a half. So I want flip it under here. I want this point to go to one and a half. And then I'm going to scooch this end until I get that score mark right at my cut line. So one and a half up here, cut line right here. Okay. So then we've got this, okay? Now remember, my piece that was going this way, I wanna flip it, because I'm gonna use it. This time I'm stamping on it. Um, oh, look at that. I really gotta clean that. I'm gonna cut this at three and an eighth. Because my panel is three and a quarter inch wide, so I'm just gonna cut an eighth of inch off. All right. So that is that. I'm going to do some stamping on this one. And let me show you. So this time I embossed this little piece. Let me bring this back. On the Sailing Home one, I embossed this top piece. On this one, I'm going to emboss this bottom piece. So you do, you know, you have plenty of options. Um, let's do some stamping on this one first. All right, so Highland Heather and my bats. And I'm just going to do random stamping of the bats all over and you're really only going to see a little bit of it anyway all over okay good 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 oh you know what i want to do on my little white piece too so on our inside i'm just doing um some more bats and spider webs so let me do this <gasps> I'm going to have to glue these back on. My little cute stars came off. I said that the other day that um, they have little teeny tiny glue dots on them. And if they started coming off, I was going to um, put them back on with some glue. So it looks like I'm going to have to do that. Mm, that's good. All right. Let's add some spider webs now with my memento. Here we go. Now I didn't, um, I didn't ink blend the sides of these, but you certainly could. Let's put some of that there. Okay. Now words. Um, so I have been using these ornate dies as tombstones. So the ornate, um, ornate layers dies. These were with the Halloween set a year or two ago. And this is just, I think, a perfect headstone. I can't stand it. It's, I love it. So then I use these two as well. So we're going to stamp Ghoulish Delights. And this is gray granite or smoky slate. Hmm, I think it's Smoky Slate. All right, Ghoulish Delights. Let me put this closer. And some more spider webs. And I see a little bit of glitter that must be left over from the ribbon. Um, now this one, I'm gonna stamp the trick or treat kind of high and then tuck it in here. So let's do that as high as I can get it really. Mm, nice. I love, love the clear stamps. The fact that you can see through them anyway. All right. So we've got that. We've got our frame. We've got this piece, this piece. Oh, we've had this little guy. 
So this is where I brought in um, this piece of the cute Halloween papers. And I just picked a couple. One that I wanna fit hit behind his, his face behind this frame. So that's what is good for these end pieces because that doesn't, I don't need the whole thing. So I'm gonna cut this one out. And I really just need to cut the sides off. Actually, yep. All right, let me add glue to the top of my frame and stick this guy on here. And I got glue right on his eyeballs. All right, so let me just hold this there for a minute and then I'm just gonna cut this edge off because no one's gonna see it so it doesn't have to look perfect. It just has to be enough to stick on there, you know? Like people don't need to be pulling this up. There we go. And actually, I'm going to put glue right behind the whole thing. All right, I do want to cut this little tombstone out, though. And I probably should have done that ahead of time, but it's teeny-weeny. It's not going to take but a minute. Yeah, Rose, I love Halloween, too. At least as far as, like, making cute stuff for it. And I do like to make little treat bags for the the kids although we hardly get any trick-or-treaters I think last year even during the pandemic was one of our highest count years I think we had 12 or 14 we usually do not get that many so I always make 20 treat bags just in case um, all right so let's go ahead and glue this on the inside I know plenty of people get like hundreds of kids and that's that's not this neighborhood plus we don't have street lights so I think it's creepy they don't like to come down here which is fine all right so we're doing this I am gluing this on straight and I haven't forgotten about this piece yet I just want to get the rest of this stuff on here so it won't be cluttering up my area. All right, let's get this on. That looks straight, straight-ish, straight enough. All right, now, um, I had taken, I wrapped this gingham ribbon around and I had, I think I wanted to use this and a little bow. No, let's just tie, um, a knot with this so I wrapped the whole thing around this piece and then glued it on but you really only see the part here so I'm like eh, I'm not gonna waste all that so I'm just gonna tie a little knot you could tie a bow if you wanted but I think a knot is more Halloween appropriate all right so let's do this so I still want to um, I only want to put glue on the three sides for now and that is so I can slip our trick-or-treat tombstone in oh you know what look at that I didn't cut this the same bad 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 so I should have cut this piece at looks like three and a sixteenth mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna have to show, send this to somebody that's not gonna notice. All right, so here I wanna tuck this in. So that's why I left this top layer like a pocket so I could slide that in because I didn't really know how, how far down I'm gonna want it to go. So just so the words are just peeking out. All right, and then I'll take our framed ghoul and I'm gonna put him right here and then ghoulish delights our main tombstone I think these are just so cute as little tombstones I can't stand it all right let's 
put that here. And I'm going to need a glue dot for this. Z folds are just fun. And then especially when you can do um, throw a slim line in there with it. More fun. All right, just trimming these a little bit because they looked a little out of hand. All right, I need another ghoul cut out. Stick my pen in my glue. Oh, we've got this little tombstone. I want to glue him on the inside. And if you had a stamp, you could stamp the tombstone in here. Um, but I just wanted to cut it out because, you know, I didn't want to waste them. Let's see. This ghoul is easy to cut out. So I'm going to, hmm, this one's cute too, but I already used him. So we're going to use this one. All right. So let me hand cut this. Hey, Teresa, thank you. So you really are um, using pretty much the whole sheet, a whole piece of eight and a half by 11 to make this between, you know, this layer and that layer. Um, but so what? Let me get some more glue under here. Get that frame held down and then I'm going to pop this guy up with dimensionals. So let me do this one handed while I hold this. Oh good. Then I'm going to go back and run my Winkostella over both of these ghouly guys. Put that there. And I have to to like press this down again. Boop, boop, boop. All right, Winkostella. And I just went over the whole thing, their faces anyway, just to give them a little bit more razzle dazzle. All right, cute, cute, cute. All right, now this panel. So this panel is, let's just double check, three and a quarter inches wide, and this is six and a quarter. So um, the DSP is six by six. So I cut this three by six. So I took a quarter inch off of everything. Um, now what I did, so I want it to match this cut line. I just eyeballed where actually let me get a little piece of tape little tiny piece of tape i'm just eyeballing till i get right here so this is even on three sides then flip it over take a pen or pencil and just draw a straight line all right now we're not done so I'm going to cut this off and then I'm still going to have to trim a little bit more. All right. So let me cut this off. So here's my line that I marked. So I'm going to drag this over and your cut might not end up being perfect, but it'll be good enough. Um, so now I just need to trim a little bit more off the straight end off the bottom. Cause see here, I want it to be, I want it to have the same border. So it looks like another eighth of an inch. Yes, Penny, you could definitely put money in here. For sure. You could make the side, um, that middle flap be a money holder. All right, let's get all this and... And if this part didn't line up perfectly, it's not the end of the world. So see, I've got a little bit of extra border there. 
Doesn't matter. Okay. Cute, cute, cute. All right, now let's add some more of our cute stars. And you know what? I am going to pull these back and um, pick them off and just add a little dollop of glue because I don't like the fact that they keep wanting to pop off. It seems like that teeny tiny glue dot just isn't enough. Of course, this one wants to stick and I want to pick it up. All right. So for here, I'm going to put glue on them from the get. So let's pick this off. And this will be a two hand operation, a little glue. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put this one up here, the black one. And then Highland Heather. Tell you this detailed um, glue head really comes in handy. And right here. And you may notice some of the glue was poking out. Um, don't worry about it. This glue is going to dry clear and it's going to be fine. Cute, cute, cute. All right. Oh, and I didn't tell you this folder is the hammered metal folder. This one that came out, mm, I think last holiday and it carried over. So that is our two cards and hopefully this video um, will be clearer than the one from last July. I really felt bad when I went back and looked at that and I thought, ugh, it's too close to the work surface, not in focus. It was just a whole bunch of things going wrong. All right, so we've got our little one. Yeah, Penny, you could put um, just a little strip, like make a little pocket here and put your money in here or gift cards, whatever. All right, so let's bring back our, these are our two cards that we made. Um, we've got a regular slim line with the Z fold and then our mini with Halloween. Okay, and actually let me show you one thing. So a little sneak peek for next week. I have been working on, um, I was gonna work on these four panel cards, four fold, whatever. Oh, I can't reach. So next week, um, I've been working on numbers and measurements because I didn't find any that I liked. So these cards that open like this, they're called four folds or four panel cards. They're really cool. Um, but this is a five by seven. So I was working out the measurements for that. Um, and then I'm going to show, I'm going to make one eight and a half by 11 using eight and a half by 11. So all the ones, all the cards that I've seen for these, use 12 by 12 cardstock and not everybody has that. So I wanted to redo, make measurements using just eight and a half by 11. Um, and I made my, the one that I made with, that was four and a quarter by five and a half, like regular A2 size, that was my sister's birthday card and I already gave it to her. So at least I took pictures. Um, and this was my prototype, but yeah, Penny, you could put a pocket like this on under the mini slim and you can put whatever you wanted in it. Yeah, tape a quarter in there. <laughs> so anyway, um, this is just a sneak peek at what's coming for next week. And these, I used my true love. This is like down to the last of my true love papers, but that's what prototypes are for. I don't know what papers I'm gonna use yet. But it's a four fold card coming next Thursday and I'm gonna get my, um, get my blog updated with these probably tomorrow. And I think that's all I have to tell you for now. So thanks you guys for sticking it out. Hey, Tracy. Um, and I will catch you next Thursday. Don't forget, let me know about bingo next Thursday. If you want to play bingo, I think it's going to be a lot of fun and you guys are going to like the cards, snowman cards. Okay. Thanks you guys. See ya.